Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to continue our Raspbian installation on a Raspberry Pi by booting all the way into the LXDE desktop. In the last video, we ran through the configuration options and set it up to boot directly into the desktop environment, which is LXDE. So once again, I'm going to take my powered off Raspberry Pi, and all I'm going to do is plug in the micro USB power adapter. The red and green lights turn on, <clears throat> and you see the rainbow effect on the screen. <clears throat> the usual Linux startup text scrolls across, and you can see the Raspberry Pi logo in the upper left hand corner. The boot process takes anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, and will boot directly into a pretty nice custom LXDE desktop environment for the Raspberry Pi. I have a wireless mouse and keyboard plugged into a powered USB hub, so I'll be able to use the mouse and keyboard as I would on a regular desktop computer. The desktop for LXDE has a few options at the top and some basic stuff like Scratch, which is a little tool for beginning programming, the Debian reference, but the two tools that you're going to use the most are probably the LX Terminal and Midori. LX Terminal is a LXDE terminal emulator, and it allows you to give or to uh, use a command line interface into your Raspberry Pi from the desktop environment. This is basically the same as SSHing in, however, you can do it from the convenience of the actual desktop. You also have Midori, which is a very small, lightweight web browser. It's not the best in the world, but it gets the job done. And there's relatively uh, poor support for things like Chrome and Firefox and the Raspberry Pi right now. I'm sure they'll come along, but the challenge is that uh, all of these packages need to be recompiled for the ARM processor. So this is the general Midori interface. It's a pretty standard web browser. And it works just fine. Your default search engine is uh, DuckDuckGo. You can set it up to do things like uh, Google if you choose. Other applications that are installed by default are under Accessories. You've got the Debian Reference File Manager, which allows you to browse out through like an Explorer. You have Image Viewer and LeafPad. LeafPad is like Notepad. LX Terminal, Root Terminal and X Archiver for doing things like uh, zipping and unzipping. Under Education, you have Scratch and Squawk, or either Scratch and Squeak. In the Internet, you have uh, Midori, a private browsing Midori option, and NetSurf web browser. I haven't used uh, anything but Midori right now, and uh, to be honest, web browsing on a Raspberry Pi is not its strong suit. A couple of programming tools, Idle, Idle 3, Scratch, and Squeak. And you have a task manager under the system tools, as well as uh, preferences including customize the look and feel, desktop session settings, keyboard and mouse, monitor settings, open box configuration manager, and preferred applications. Preferred applications will allow you to set some of the quick launch buttons at the bottom of the screen. LXDE includes multiple desktops, so you have the option to switch from one or two desktops at the bottom. And by default, you have a... Uh, option to iconify all windows, the Midori web browser, and the file manager at the bottom. So that is a quick introduction to LXDE. On the other side of the screen, we have a uh, CPU counter on the lower right hand section. That shows you the current CPU usage and whenever you do anything on a Raspberry Pi it goes straight to 100%. So things do take a little while. There's a clock, which is uh, set by uh, NTP at each boot. And then you also have a screen lock and the logout button. So not a whole lot going on. And uh, it is relatively useful. However, it is going to take some applications to make it anything more than a very basic desktop environment. Things that I have done successfully that I think have some use are to enable NTFS so you can uh, both read and write onto external hard drives that are formatted NTFS. If you don't install NTFS tools, then you can only read NTFS partitions. 
Installing Samba and uh, the Samba configuration will allow you to use the Raspberry Pi on a Windows network. In fact, you can create something like a NAS device. You can also install Apache and uh, MySQL as well as uh, My, My PHP Admin for MySQL. And this app opens up a whole bunch of interesting options if you want a home server of some variety. I'm interested primarily in using this as an uh, added service for my XBMC installations, possibly as a small NAS device and an offloaded MySQL server for XBMC. So those projects will come along shortly. In the meantime, I hope you're enjoying your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.